Welcome back to Chosen Generation. Now, I know it's good, right? It's getting real good. Now, it's about to get a little heavier for you right now. Now, Minister Fresnel, yeah. there's another statistic I got for you. Y'all ready for this? It says, a study shows from the RAD Corporation that teenagers, that's you, you, are twice as likely to have sex or engage in sexual activity uh, because of the media. Many objects in media involve and that, that for the media are targeting you. You the target. Bullseye got you. All right. Re like for example, reality shows, TV dramas uh, are portraying that only the cool kids are the ones having sex. And if you don't have sex, you're not cool. Something wrong with you. Um, you 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 might you might just be a little funny, a little strange, a little peculiar. So basically, this is what the rag corporation is saying. They targeting you. You targeted every day. So you got a mark on you. So hmm. from seeing that, why is the media doing this, Minister Fernando? Why are they glorifying this thing? Like when you see the talk, when you see the TV shows, you know, like I remember there was a TV show a long time ago, One on One. Remember that one? Um, remember One on One and all these other TV shows that they got? They got a lot of shacking. Yeah. Why is it glorified? Well. It, it goes back to what I was saying. It's see the, these major companies and corporations. It's all about money. Okay. It's, that's the only thing it's about. And you know the saying before sex sells. Yeah. yeah. Well, there it is. And I've realized that it's not only just that sex sells. I've realized that emotions sell. Wow. Because once again, when somebody is emotionally attached to something, they'll be willing to invest their money, invest their time. Their, their heart is invested in something. So they're going to continue to always look for that thing. Yeah. Uh, and so what companies understand is if I can get these young people to emotionally, for example, uh, each reality shows where they show promiscuity and like you said, it's, 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 it's exposed to be something that's hip or cool or the, the end thing to do. There's so many young people who I've heard tell me that they don't want to have sex, but I'm, I feel like I should, or I feel pressured to, because that's what everybody else is doing, and they think everybody else is doing it because in TV everybody is doing it, and that wow. is that, and it's not really the reality, but that's the reality that's being painted by our. By so it's media. like a matrix. It's like that's a matrix. It it's like it's like a matrix system that has been basically constructed and created for young people for young right people. now to um, fail so basically you're being targeted to fail and it's at the expense of their them losing their their dignity their self-worth while companies wow. are getting richer and richer off of them wow oh my goodness and the young people they tell me all the time like i don't want to have sex i don't i don't want to but everywhere i go i see it on the news i see it on the trains i see the billboards up yeah I believe one of my students told me about a, a billboard they saw, and the, and the sign said, "Are you a virgin? We can help you." Wow! But it's it's like it's it's everywhere. I remember there's a movie a long time ago. Y'all remember this? Remember the movie? It was about a gentleman that he was 40 years old and he was a virgin. 40 year old. Virgin. 40 year old virgin, yeah. right? And he was basically being made fun of, yeah. talked about, cause he was still 40. He's a virgin. It's like something's wrong with you. Right. You know, like there's like it, it's like a certain timetable that you have to have done it. If you didn't do it, if you didn't have sex, then, you know, something's wrong with you. And they make up all these, these weird things like, oh, you, you can, you know, you about, you backed up or something's wrong. Like, you know, like, they try to make God, all these scientific, <laughs> scientific things like, oh, you ain't, ain't gonna work when you, when you wanna use it. Yeah. You gotta test the waters, make sure it's working. <laughs> but it's like, it's everywhere. But thing yeah. that, the thing that I don't understand about media, now y'all get this for me. We got campaigns that are out there. Everybody telling me, wrap it up, wrap it up. Uh, lock it down, close it in. Don't do it. They, 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 you know, they having AIDS campaigns. They having you know HIV campaigns. You know they having commercials. That the commercials, the men be talking to the woman like we need to talk. Mm -hmm. You see that commercial? We need to talk. And they know they know they got all these different things happening. But at the same time, right? They're telling you it's okay have sex like Twilight. The woman in Twilight. You know because I watched it. I wanted to see what was going down. Yeah. So here I went to the movie theater, mm -hmm. and I watched it, and they said, no, I don't know what the, ch the, the young lady's name is, you know, but I know the, the, the gentleman, not the wolf boy, but the vampire, I believe his name is Edward, you know, all she wanted to do was get in his drawers, right. you know, she wanted to be bit, 
and she wanted to get in his drawers. I looked in his eyes long enough, I felt a little tingly. I said, Lord, what's going on <laughs> with this? You know, yeah. and, and, and it's just like, they're advocating, they're saying, do it, do it, but wrap it up, we need to talk. Right. So the, the emotions are back and forth. Mm -hmm. They're back and forth. And yo, you, I feel like the, this generation of young people, y'all got to really see what's been, what's happening to you. The world is telling you that you are targeted. Yeah, yeah. The world is telling So my thing is this, next thing is, Minister Fennell, how can we change this as people of God? What can we do? I know right now, besides Hungry for God, you have a movement called Hungry for Change. Yes, yes. Tell us about this. Tell us what we can do. Tell us what you're doing. All right. Well, I'm glad you asked. Hungry for Change is basically my response to what, what I've been noticing amongst the teens who have been telling me, I don't want to have sex. I don't want to be involved in all the negative things that's out there. But I have no other outlet or nowhere else to, to express myself. So. Yeah. When I started on Give a Change, it was basically a campaign where we got teen, teenagers and, and young adults to express themselves about the issues that they want to speak out about and feel like no one else is listening. Okay. So what we did was, over the summer mm -hmm. this year, we went around just asking random teenagers, this is in and out the church, yeah. majority out of the church, yeah. and had them express, what do you think about reality TV? What's a, Pretty much 90% of them was all saying it's garbage, we don't yeah. like it, it's, it's not interesting, but there's nothing else on, so we watch it. So my goal was, through this campaign, was to capture the, um, the, um, the voice and the feelings and the opinions of, of the majority of people that we ran into and provide a platform where everyone can, um, can see it. So we videotaped it, We've been, um, we have a website out. Um, and we created a documentary and wow. our goal is to get it to the people that were here and the Lord has been good He's actually already gave us favor with some uh, major networks um, So that we can actually package this stuff in a way that it can the, you know the world can see it and hear what's really the real cries in the hearts of today's generation because this there's not just a negative market there's also a positive market and that market also is waiting to be tapped into yeah. And I feel like as the church, what we can do is let's stop just thinking that if it ain't church, it ain't God. That's right. You know, God is the God of the world. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness yeah. thereof. They that dwell therein. Everything that's going on in the world truly by creative rights belong to the Lord. And it's time for us mm -hmm. to be leaders in society, not just in church, but in the media world uh -huh. and Austin's entertainment. I'm so proud of like seeing guys like Tyler Perry and Bishop Jake, who, you know, they're going against their, their theological norms and uh, pressing their way into the media in Hollywood and releasing positive entertainment, positive mm -hmm. movies. And I feel like the church really needs to see what they're doing and jump in on this wave, um, really get involved, support young people who have talents and dreams and visions that are not, not just for the church, but for the world at large, because God is looking to creatively release his glory in ways that we think may not look like the church, but it really is church because all things belong to the Lord. The Bible says that all things exist and consist in Him. That's right. You know? And people need to understand that we, we make up the church. We are the body of Christ. We and we need to support each other in churches. I'm really encouraging you. We need to put the effort in the stuff that we do. You know, yeah, the definitely. world spends billions of dollars, millions of dollars on their advertisement, Absolutely. on media. They put their best foot forward, Absolutely. right? And we as a church, we got to go past little flyers. I know they they nice, mm -hmm. but we got to be able to spend the money too. Yeah. You know, we got to, listen, we got to do it. You know, I know you and I were talking in break. It talks about if, if if that scripture, God said, you know, if I be lifted up, then I will draw all man. Yeah, you know, yeah. but how are we lifting God up? <laughs> you know, how are we lifting him up so that he can do the drawing? Right. So we got to, we got to, we got to put effort. We gotta put time, we gotta put money, we gotta get strategy, and we gotta do it well. Do it with uh, excellence. With an excellent spirit. That's right. So, Minister Vernell, can you tell us, because I, I know God is using you to, to bring some change. Tell the audience where they can go and visit your website. Well, you can uh, check us out on www.liveh number four c.com yes. live h4c.com and we have all the information on there you can see our documentary what we've done so far and then just contact us let us know if you want to be involved if you're a young person and you want to do get involved with something positive please reach out to us and um we'll get you right in we're looking for actors as well as actresses for many sketches 
um, that we want to we want to do some entertaining. I, I also realize with the teens, we got to have some entertainment involved in that. I and mean, I feel like a lot of things that we do for youth, we're more informational, but they they want to be entertained. They want fun. They, I'm young. I want to have fun. Praying a lot is good. Prayer is good. Right. <laughs> the pseudo lady got to get up off your knees. Uh huh. And have some fun. Have some fun, and this, and we need the joy of the Lord is our strength, right? Yeah. There's a book I mentioned to you that I really feel like if you're a young, if you're a youth leader and you want to be involved in learning how you can reach your youth better, there's a book I stumbled upon called The Branding of MTV. Okay. Now MTV, you might say, what well, that got to do with the church? Well, it has a lot to do with it because their MTV is the leading global youth brand in the world. Um, they influence our youth way more than a lot of us do, and so. How are they so successful? This book will explain what the, I mean, the actual steps and the things, strategies they use to reach young people. Wow. And I feel like, um, you know, the Bible says the children of this world are wiser yeah. than the church. So um, we can find out a lot about it. So it's called The Branding of MTV. Will the Internet Kill the Video Star? Um, check it out. Excellent. And, and you'll see that information. Mm -hmm. You're going to see that information. I'm telling you, I, I know the show was informative. Right. I thank you so much for coming. I thank you it's so much. Pleasure. I'm telling y'all, go look it up. Look up that book. All right. And parents, I hope this opened up your eyes a little more yeah. wider. And young people, for you to know, hold up, get this target off my back. Yeah. All right. Don't so fall for the sex trap. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> please. All right. Please don't fall for it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Minister Pinnell, for Thanks coming. For having, I'm excited. To I'm be telling here. you, I thank God. Listen, until next time, I want you to know out there, listen, you're different. I like I'm different. I like that I'm different. You like that you're different. I love it. Just know that you're chosen. God bless you.